Hi everyone, it's Bethany. Welcome back to my channel. Recently, I went on a little shopping day for one just by myself, which doesn't happen very often. And I found myself finding quite the haul for fall crafts. And I went to Michael's, I went to Hobby Lobby, and both places my cart was full. So I asked you in a poll if you wanted to see my fall haul for craft inspiration, and we're gonna do it today. It was an overwhelming yes. So we are going to go ahead and go through my haul today, both from Hobby Lobby and Michael's for fall crafting. And if you've never seen one of my haul videos before, what I'll do is I will pick five items to craft with and at the very end of the video we'll get to crafting and creating five things. Okay, so I want to start with Michael's. So everything, and I have more off camera, so just buckle up, it's going to be super fun. So. I first of all got this really neat sign. Let me see, I, first of all, I love signs like this that are already done. So you can just add vinyl, wham, bam, it's done. You, of course, if you wanted to, you know, add a little stain to the frame, you could. I personally love them like this just because that's my personal style, but you could take that in any direction. It also does have a little hanger here, but also in terms of size, it is nine, so 18 inches by five inches. So that's a very, very nice size. And it was created by Make Market for Michaels. I really love this. So that is a really, really lovely size that I really was excited to see. And the next thing I found was this really unique coffee mug. It's from Ashland. And I should also mention when I was doing all of my shopping, everything was on major sale. I mean, I felt like I won the lottery because I had a mommy day to myself, which again, doesn't happen very often and the fact that I was able to go to some craft stores and get a good deal on everything, it was, it was just a dream come true. So I found this coffee mug. In fact, I'm gonna go back and get another one because I love it so much. It's so unique. I just think it really screams fall and it instantly jumped into my cart. Love it. Okay, the next thing I found was I wanted to try out their Make Market t-shirts. First of all, first impression, this is crazy soft. So I went ahead and grabbed one of the shirts. I really like this color. In fact, it practically um, matches my craft mat, but it's a nice little powder blue. I don't know if it has an actual name, but I'm in love with it so far. So I'm excited to use this and create with my Cricut. I think this will be a really fun item to test out because it's nice to have a local area where I can purchase some t-shirts when I need to create. Okay, the next thing I found was this huge sign. And what intrigued me was this backdrop and the wood. I do not really love the middle part. If you do, it's fine. Everyone has their own style. But for me, what intrigued me was the potential here. So I purchased this because I, again, love this nice big frame and pattern here. I love this frame, but I'm going to do something different inside here. So what I thought I would do was either paint or add some fun paper. We'll probably get to this in a different video because I really need to think through and plan this out. But I really love this idea for fall and home decor in general. And I was excited to pick this up. So this is by, I think this is by Ashland as well, just wall decor. It was in their spring decor and um, I really liked it. And again, I can't remember the price that I personally paid, but it was definitely a price that made me grab this and put it in my cart. Next up are these two items. First of all, I found this really nice little soap jar. I love this. This is again by Ashland in their cottage kitchen um, collection, I believe. And I love things like this where you can do a vinyl wrap you could add some type of fall wording if you'd like but I love things that are of this nature they're so classy and they really dress up a little space especially a little powder room I also found this piece and I loved it because of the little feet and I can't quite decide what I'm going to do with it but I just had to have it this was it's called wood container I love the circular nature of it I love the idea of putting a already potted plant in there and using it as a plant pot. You could even not worry too much about water and use this as um, a 
faux plant pot as well. That's kind of a tongue twister, but I loved this idea. Again, you could do a really fun fall wrap on this. You could use this in your kitchen to put utensils in. I just think this is really fun. I loved the nice wood tone of it, and this just screamed fall to me. So I was excited to grab this and put this in my cart. Okay, so I was pretty intrigued with their sign section and all of the pre-done wood pieces that they had. First of all, because these are pretty much grab and go. They just need a little bit of vinyl decor on them and they're done. So I love that the prep is done. This makes for a really quick and simple craft. They add the little hanger. And again, this is that brand Make Market. So I'm really, really impressed with this. I think they're nice. I also grabbed two different sizes. So the first size we have at, and I'm rounding up here. This is eight inches by 10 inches just a little shy of that. And then this is going to be an eight by eight. So I really thought that these were nice pieces, again, to grab and go. I love the tone of the wood to me and my fall decor, that is the tone that I usually go for. So I really thought that these would prove some nice potential for fall crafting. This was a fun little find. This is actually labeled as a tray. And I loved it because initially I thought, oh, that would make a really nice sign. It's nice and thick, so it has a nice base. Of course, you could use it as a tray, but my initial reaction and what I am going to run with is I'm going to use it as a frame. I really love the idea of that. If you had a nice white vinyl, that would really, really be a nice contrast. It would pop really well. And I was excited to find this. And this is kind of an inspiration for you too, that just because something's labeled a certain way, it does not mean that that's what you have to use it for. There are many signs that I use, especially from Hobby Lobby, which I've shared at least two times on my channel before, that are actually in the shelving section and they are floating shelves, but I just put them right on up and I create a little wooden sign from them. So just go ahead and see the potential in things, take it a step back and really take in the selection in front of you and get creative with what you can do with things because just because it's labeled one thing doesn't mean that that has to be its destination in the end. Another fun piece, and this is the last piece that I found at Michael's before we move on to my Hobby Lobby haul, but I found this beautiful little cauldron. First of all, I love the size, but second of all, it is a really nice ceramic sturdy piece. I was really impressed with it. Again, it was on sale for a great price. I don't remember all of the prices that I paid for these, but they were enough to make me stop and say, yes, please. So I think this is gonna be really fun for fall and more specifically Halloween. So we'll get to crafting with this more in October. And with that said, let's go ahead and move into my Hobby Lobby haul because I found some Halloween things there, but then we're going to revert back to fall decor as well. I found such great things at Hobby Lobby. And again, we're gonna talk about looking at the potential in items because I picked up a few things that you might think, why in the world is she buying that? But it's got a potential. Okay, moving on to Hobby Lobby. I found a variety of really great things I was super excited about. First being this little chalkboard sign, but what I love about it is I love these signs that are placed in this little wooden base. They are so fun. The first side is already done as well as the back side, and what I mean by that is they're both ready to be decorated. So what I like about this is that you can create a reversible sign, and you could have maybe something for fall, but then switch it over to Halloween on the other side and just quickly have one piece of decor that takes care of two seasons. This was in the table decor section and I just really, I thought this was really fun and again screamed kind of Halloween to me, although you could use it year round. Absolutely, everybody loves a good chalkboard 365 days of the year, but for me I was inspired to put this in my new Halloween collection, so stand by for that. The next thing that I found, and I get one every year, are these nice faux pumpkins. They are so nice. They are labeled as, well, I guess they are foam pumpkins. Foam pumpkins, and they have a variety of sizes. I always opt for the white, and I have a ton of videos on how I am inspired to decorate these, so I'll try to do my best and place some videos down below for you to get inspired, but we're gonna have fun doing something different with this this year. You could absolutely use this for Halloween or fall in general. These are super fun and worth picking up. 
I was really intrigued with this piece. This is a decorative wall panel. It's very distressed and the size is, well, if I put it this way, we are at 12 by 22 inches. So it's a nice big sign. I'm going to put it this way just for the sake of the camera, but of course we would go this way. I am super intrigued by creating a fun Halloween piece with this this fall. So I'm very excited with my idea for this be sure to look out for this because it's going to be really worth the wait I'm excited to share what I'm going to do but I really was intrigued with this piece I loved the distress look I loved the color and again you could go fall with this but I thought that it kind of looked like I don't know just a little kind of eerie to me and so I really want to go in more of a Halloween direction with this also I apologize for my phone nobody wants to contact me at all during the day until it's time for me to have fun crafting and then everybody wants to chit chat Another item that I found that I'm going to gear more towards my Halloween crafts this year is this nice oval mirror. First of all, because it's kind of unique to me at least. I haven't seen a lot of these. I thought it was really pretty. I love the really narrow lip we have around here. I just think that that is so pretty. And again, we're gonna do something really fun for this for Halloween. I have several good ideas. I just gotta pick one to run with. So catch me for Halloween because all of these crafts are coming. I'm super excited to share and be sure if you are just popping in to check out this haul be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on all of the really fun crafts that are going to be created from this beautiful haul all right let's switch gears and again we are still continuing with hobby lobby finds but i want to circle back to looking at the potential in items on the shelves so although these three things are adorable in their own right i am using them basically for their base so i was intrigued with this piece down here because I love the uniqueness of it. I loved that it had a lip and kind of shelf on the top and on the bottom and I like that you could also have it be a reversible little sign. The chicks are adorable in their own respect but they're not part of my style or decor so what I thought we could do is we can either paint this or we could apply some paper to this and really have fun making some fall decor. Again because it is reversible then we could do something either Halloween or Christmas on the back and then we could easily have one piece that takes care of two holidays and I really like this again the shape the idea of it was really intriguing it's going to sit this way although that doesn't help you on camera but I loved this and so I picked this up again based on potential okay the next thing that I found I guess two things were these really nice signs now although these are cute in their own right I'm just not quite fond of them so what I am again grabbing these for is the potential in them now if you didn't want to go the route of covering this up you could flip it over and do the back side that's fine but I am actually going to cover this up with some chalk paint I will distress it like shown because I love that look and I really like how they did that but I'm going to add my own phrase with some vinyl and make these a little bit more fall related I think these are really nice and again I picked up a couple because they were on sale I don't know if I have a price on these and again um I want to say everything was like at least 60% off, maybe 66% off. So everything was a super good price. Full price, these would be $9.99, but if you picked it up for even less than $5, this is a great blank to have. So again, sometimes you're gonna run into things in the craft store that are either bunged up a little bit because they've been sitting on the shelf or they have some decor on them that you're not really loving. But if they're in that clearance section and they are a good price, grab them, paint over them and give them a new life totally in love with these cute little scalloped napkins. They are in the fall section at Hobby Lobby. They come in a set of four. They are beautiful. They also had a variety of colors. I picked up this more Mariner blue or navy color. I really loved this color. It's so pretty and I'm going to have fun at decorating these for fall, the fall season. I think it's pretty. This could also be beautiful for Thanksgiving time. Okay, I also found this really piece and I loved it for the potential of being a vertical sign for maybe a kitchen area. I thought it was really pretty. I loved the size of it. So I went ahead and picked one of these up. Another item that I was really intrigued with was this almost kind of bread box type of piece. In fact, what do they even label this as? Big, a big spring metal container. Well, that's pretty, um, well, that's 
pretty literal. So I loved it because of the color. I think this is a nice, nice color for fall. And I also have found this color to be a little bit popular this season in other um, stores as well. So I did pick up some other things that is not going to be in this particular haul today, but I will share another haul pretty soon because I found some other fall decor that I love and we're going to have some fun doing a lot of DIYs with this. But I love the idea for this. If you wanted to use it in a kitchen, you can. My first idea was using it as a home for all of the cords, iPad cords, phone cords, watch cords, everything. I feel like I'm drowning in cords these days. So I wanted to have a little home for that, but also it's a nice, really decorative piece that can sit on the counter, be super nice. We're going to have fun creating some kind of fun decal for this. And again, I was just intrigued by the color. Okay, we still have a long ways to go, but the next set of items that I found, this is in the spring shop section, and it's more of kind of just a holder in general. It doesn't spin or anything like that, but I love this. It could, this could be a utensil holder. This could be something that is in your kitchen. If you want to use this in your craft space, that would work well as well, but I thought this was really pretty for fall. I loved the tin tone of it with that black lip and this nice wood and handle. All of the elements put together just were really pretty and I'm excited to bring this into my home decor this season. Okay, this little terrarium is adorable. It was, at the time I purchased it, reduced to $6.99, down from $28. And I thought this was so pretty. I am not going to use it in the terrarium respect, but I thought this would be absolutely gorgeous for fall. And I can't wait to show you my idea for this. So pretty. Be sure to run to Hobby Lobby, see if yours are on sale because these are really nice. And I'm really intrigued with the idea of using these as decor this fall season and really any season. This is really, really a pretty piece. Okay, I couldn't help but grab one of their shirts while I was there. This is their next level apparel and it is pretty soft as well. One thing I really like this is it's more of a heather style. So it's not more of a solid t-shirt, but it has, you know, that heather look. I really liked the color too. I feel like this is a pretty unique color that I haven't seen too often. So I think this is super pretty and I'm going to be decorating this this fall season. Okay, moving on to this little pump pumpkin shaped dish. How adorable is this? This was in the fall tableware. They label it as a pumpkin bowl and it is roughly six inches. So I was intrigued by it. I love things like this for my kitchen counter for a little drop zone, but I love decorating things like this because it's a nice seasonal piece to have, but it also contains all the things. So very cute piece. I can't wait to get crafting with this. I think this will be really fun and I love the tones of it. It's just a really solid, durable piece, but also the wood grains, it's just really pretty. I also found this little riser at Hobby Lobby, super cute. And again, this was in their fall 2023 collection. And I love the idea of using this by a sink area. You can put this in the middle of your table. In terms of size, this is six inches by six inches. So I love that size, that's really nice. It's also great for a little candle, but we're gonna decorate this and have fun bringing some fall vibes to it. I think it's a really nice piece. And again, I'm just loving the tones of those wood grains. Okay, in the apparel section, I fell in love with this piece and I really am in need of something really nice for my library books so I thought it would be really nice to have something a little bit more fall themed for all of my fall trips to the library. I thought this would be super nice so I went ahead and picked it up. It has these nice leather straps and what it has at the top is this zipper enclosure which love and then it does have an inside pocket as well which comes in handy these make wonderful gifts so if you have someone that you want to personalize this for this is a wonderful idea but i love this idea i love the size and we're going to have fun getting this all decorated for fall okay one thing i was really excited to find at Hobby Lobby was a collection of sublimation blanks. And I found these frosted cups that include the bamboo lids and the straws. This is a set of two. And I have been really loving the idea of these frosted kind of Libby cups. I think they are so neat. And I was excited to see that they are applicable for sublimation. So that is really exciting. 
I also found glass mugs that are available to sublimate as well, which is super exciting. This comes in a four pack, but I love the idea of sublimating on glass. I haven't tried it. So it's really neat to see that they are coming out with a line of sublimation products at Hobby Lobby, and I'm excited to give them a test. Okay, another thing that I found was sublimation tote bags, which come in a really nice size. I'm not going to get my measuring tape out but this is a very very um, respectable size I really like that so I did grab a couple of them they are hundred percent percent polyester so they are ready to go for sublimation so I'm going to be doing something like this now I'm not sure if I'm going to do this for fall season or not just because you could do this any time of the year but stuff like this makes really good teacher gifts or Christmas gifts, birthday gifts. I really love these. And I picked these up more in the idea of testing them out. And I'm looking forward to seeing how these work. If you're curious about sublimation and you haven't tried it, I have done sublimation on my channel for a while now and I have an entire playlist. I've sublimated a lot of things. So I walk you all through it step by step. So be sure to check out those videos if you are wanting to give sublimation a try. But these two items are something that I haven't sublimated on. So I am intrigued by them and I think this is going to be a fun little addition to the sublimation process. Okay, the final items that I found at Hobby Lobby is this nice nice big tin metal bin. Now they come out with these throughout the year. In fact, in the springtime, they have them in this more kind of robin's egg turquoise color. And I really like them. We actually have quite a few colors of these, but I have not seen this nice kind of like cadet green, if you will. I really like this. So I picked this up for fall. I like these for housing library books. So I really like the idea of just kind of switching out the bin, giving it more of a seasonal look. But these are really, really great. They also are really great little places, again, for library books, but nice to have in your craft space as well. So you can be sure to check out Hobby Lobby throughout the year because you can find different colors. And these are really nice little durable pieces. They're really, really fun to have. And the little handles on the sides, it's just something that's so simple, but really just elevates the little piece. So super fun, excited to have this for fall. Okay, I also did pick up this little mini pitcher. I thought this was adorable. And again, really nice for placing on little pieces like this if you're just gonna have a little decorative piece in your home. So I like this idea for adding a little bit of vinyl decor to. This is really fun. I loved that soft color. It just screamed fall to me, so I definitely brought it home. And again, with the season of fall approaching, I really love the idea of redoing some mugs for the kiddos, giving them some apple cider mugs. So I picked these up. Again, these were on sale as well. I believe they were in that 66% off place. So I, again, at $4 plus 66% off, I really couldn't leave those there. They are really cute, a nice little size for kiddos. I love the inside is different from the outside in terms of color with that black lip on top. Really classy little piece, durable little piece. The shape is perfect, you can't go wrong. And finally, I picked up this nice little container. I believe this comes in a variety of sizes. I was originally looking at this in the spring section, but then when I went to their basket section and more container section, I found this in there as well with some bigger versions of it. So if you like this little look, I think it's so cute. I initially picked this up for my craft room and I'm not quite sure if I'm going to run in the craft room direction or the fall direction with this but I really like this piece I like the size I liked the soft shape with the rounded corners and I think this is a sweet little piece all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pick five things to craft with and then we'll get to crafting I hope you enjoyed the first part of this video where I shared my haul again I do have some additional fall pieces that I did pick up from another store and I will go ahead and place that in another video so keep a lookout for that that will be coming soon but let's go ahead and select five pieces and get to crafting all right, I picked five of the items that I found and I am going to craft with them. And the rest of the items that you saw from my fall haul will be in upcoming videos. So the first one I'm going to do is this really neat little bread box. And I can't remember, I'll remind myself again what they call it. It's a metal container. Oh, that's right, it's, it's a very literal thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. I am loving this color. Isn't that pretty? Also, for those of you who truly know me as a crafter, 
know that I struggle with using things like this, the little desktop trash can, but I have to tell you, I have been so good about using this for about two to three weeks now. And I know that doesn't seem like much, but for me, it's so good. So I've been keeping it off to the right here and I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay, so I found a really cute SVG that I thought is gonna work perfectly for this, this little box because I was telling you I wanted this for our kitchen area to house all of the cords. All of the cords, oh my goodness. We are in a season of cords, just for everything. So I thought that this was a cute little SVG because not only is it just adorable, but I think it's really fitting for a kitchen gathering place. I think that's really nice. Okay. Then we have some little tiny pieces here. Now, of course, I'll link all of the designs that I'm gonna be using to bring all of these looks together. And they'll be in the description box below in case you fall in love with any of them as well. Okay, so we are all set there. And now let's go ahead and get some transfer tape. Okay, I'm reusing a piece of transfer tape from a larger project that I did last time. And I don't know that I'm, oops, I don't know that I'm gonna have quite enough in height, but I'm gonna make it work. So I'm okay with the little tops of those letters peeking off. Okay, there we go. Let me, now when you do do something like this and you know your vinyl kind of falls off of the transfer tape here, you just wanna be mindful to be careful with your scraper because that is where you could get yourself into trouble because the scraper glides so nice over the transfer tape but it does not glide nice over exposed vinyl because you have little lips that it can snag on and it can get messy. Okay, let's bring in minus the little lid. I'm gonna bring this in. I think both sides look equally, oh, nope, this one is a little bit not so great. So I'm gonna use this side, no problem. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this with some rubbing alcohol. Spray it down, grab a rag, okay, and that's all clean. That way it's all clean from the store. Any oils from hands will be removed, any dust from sitting on the store shelf will be removed, and that all will help the vinyl stay down and last. Okay, so... Oh, that's cute. And oh, I'm gonna do that center. I was gonna say you could do kind of either or. I think that looks good. So place that down. Just like that. And being careful again of my exposed vinyl at the very tippy top, but it should be just fine. Okay, got that transfer tape. Oops, I didn't do that side as well. Okay, go a little bit slower. I'm also going to put this transfer tape back on this little backer because I'll keep reusing that. Okay, let's go nice and slow. Monitoring all the areas and making sure I press down anything that wants to come up. Okay, isn't that pretty? Oh, that looks so pretty against that background. I love that. Okay, and then paired with this beautiful lid. Isn't that gorgeous? I think that is so pretty for a kitchen. Plus, I like that it is going to be a functional home for something that tends to be clutter and overwhelming clutter. So if you need to either house anything for your kitchen, any type of cords or anything like that, consider doing something like this. It's cute, it's functional, and it hides things well. Okay, so originally I picked this up because I loved the idea of this being a little dish to house little odds and ends that tend to just 
accumulate around the house, right? Just everybody needs a little dump station, dump tray. But I, I wasn't really inspired with it and I thought, you know what, if I am using this for its intended purpose of, you know, housing little things, you're not gonna see the design anyway. So I flipped it over, I took the little labeling off the back and I'm gonna go ahead and just use it, not as a flat dish, but I'm gonna use it as something that will just stand up and be decor because that's adorable, isn't that? And I think I will enjoy it much more as a piece of decor other than something that's going to hold items. So I wanted to mention that, not only because you're gonna see me use that a little bit differently, but also earlier when I was showing the haul, I was showing you ways that you need to look for the potential in things. And again, just because something is intended to be used for one thing does not mean that that's how you have to do it. So I am amending this little idea and I'm gonna use it for a little piece of decor. It'd be really pretty. Okay, and here is another cute little SVG that I found. Again, I'll link it below. This would be super cute on a shirt or a sweatshirt too. Probably more sweatshirt because we're going to be entering the fall season now, right? Okay, there we are. And again, I will grab that transfer tape and I'll just reuse that. So let me just grab a little bit of it. Don't need the whole thing. There. Just a little. I'll trim that off as well. Okay. Now it seems like it has a finish on it. So I don't know that I will add any rubbing alcohol, but just maybe use what's on my towel there. Okay, let's grab a little scraper and burnish the front. And then flip this over and repeat right on the back. Okay, so this says, hello pumpkin. I thought it would very fitting. And there we go. Put this right on off. Don't forget the dot to the eye. You got it? Okay. So now, how cute. I like that. And I feel like I'll actually enjoy it in this manner. Okay. There we go. Burnish it down with my fingers real quick and then I'll add additional pressure with my little scraper tool. There we go. Okay, let's see how this laid down. Oh, very beautifully. Ooh, that little end needs a little bit of pressure. Pretty, pretty. Okay, so this is a fun little piece of decor for a windowsill, anything like that. But I love how that turned out. I think that's really pretty. And again, if you change your mind, just flip it on over. You can have it as a little catch area. I think, now I took the, the tag off. I, I do think that there was a little tag that said that this was food safe. So, you know, even if you put little nuts or anything like that in there, that would be a really cute as well. All right, let's move on to the next little craft. I can't help myself. I have to do this cute little soap container. I think that's so fun. So I'm going to bring in my little cup cradle here because that's going to really help me here. Okay. Now, again, this one was from Michael's and I'm going to do right here. Spraying that down with rubbing alcohol to really clean that. There we go. Very nice. Now I'll set that to the side. And here is the little design. So check out this design pack that I bought because it's a variety of little leaves and acorns, but they also have a solid layer as well. So these would be really neat to do with paper. In fact, now that I have this SVG, and this is a good reminder that once you have the SVG, you can I'll just bring this in over here a little bit more. Once you have that SVG, you can do multiple things with it. So for this one, I'm going to kind of wrap a little leaf around this little soap jar, soap pump, I guess. But I think I'll do some kind of fun paper crafting. It would even make a really fun card. And you can just 
cut it on paper and do something completely different. So it's really nice. It's a really great way to stretch your supplies, stretch your designs, and do a variety of things. Okay, there we go. Now we're ready for some transfer tape. There we are. And let's get a burnish. And a back. All right, if you made it this far into the fall haul video and introductory crafts for this fall season, be sure to leave a leaf emoji. There are so many cute ones, but leave one down in the comment section. And I'll know you made it this far. All right, so I thought it'd be cute to kind of wrap it at a diagonal like this, just like that. All right, let's burnish that down just a little bit more. Make sure there's no bubbles. I also like to go this way to take on the curve of the glass with the design. There we go. And peel that up. Isn't that pretty? All right, I'm still saving that transfer tape, but as you can see with the contrast of my hands, that is a crazy cute little soap pump. I think that is so fun. And it's really fitting for fall. Also, you can remove this vinyl, especially from glass. Even though this is a permanent vinyl, you can remove it. If there's any residue, you can spray it down with some rubbing alcohol or just some soap in general. So if you wanted to you know, end up using this for something different in the future and take that little leaf off, then go ahead and do so. I think I'm gonna actually, I'm not gonna have it like this. I kinda wanna have it tilted like that. I think that's really pretty. Okay, I need to do a sign. I just love a good new and fresh sign for each season. All right, I have some black adhesive vinyl here. I found this really cute SVG. It really caught my eye. I love the movement of it. I love the font. Of course, I can't identify the font because this is a pre-made SVG, so I don't have that information. But I think you're gonna fall in love with it as well. It's so cute. So I'm just peeling that off. Trying to get all those little pieces to come. Come with me, come on. There we go. All right, so this says fall is in the air. And I love the movement of this. I think this also would probably work really well on a round surface because it kind of is taking on a little bit of a circular little look to it, which is really fun. So just go through and grab all these little middle pieces in the letters. Whoops, didn't quite get that one. And then it's got a really cute leaf over here as well. Just a little bit of detail that needs weeded out in one fell swoop. Okay, oops, you are, and we're all done. Isn't that pretty? I think that's really fun. I like in the black vinyl as well. All right, so I'm gonna grab a new piece of transfer tape only because we need something bigger at this point. So let's see, what I'd like to do is bring it on top, then I can, actually, let's make sure we don't waste. Let's trim this down. There we go. And we don't get more than we need. So grabbing a little corner. Let's see if we can get this to lay down really nice. I'm just gonna expose a little bit there, about an inch. And then by folding that carrier back, you have a little handle here, you can just pull and release the rest of the transfer tape right on your design. Okay, but keep this. It's one of my favorite things about this whole transfer tape is that you can reuse it so well because you have something to put it back on. All right, let's see. Scraper. Now, if you have a transfer tape that is like a, a tape transfer tape where you pull it off of itself and it doesn't have a liner, then keep your cutting carrier sheet. I'll show you that in a minute. That way you can just place it on that and it'll It'll save it. It's a great little hack as well. Okay. Put the back down. This is the Cricut vinyl. It's not my favorite. 
it do, I just feel like it does not go onto the transfer tape as well as the Oracle. So I will link the vinyl that I like down below because that is what I recommend. But I need to get rid of I need to get rid of this. I've had a lot of it and I'm trying to shop my craft space before I shop for more. And it works, you know, it's not bad. It's just I feel like it's not my preference. There we go. And done. Okay, let's get this little one in here. And I like that. Very cute. Okay, grabbing my scraper once more. These signs are awesome. I love the stained color on the side. I think that's really, really pretty for fall. I don't know that I would love it for every season, but for fall, it's really giving me that, that nice autumn vibe. Okay, being careful here, I'm just going to grab a corner of my transfer tape. And you wanna be careful because your weeding tool can scratch your painted surface. Okay, now, as I was saying, if you have a transfer tape that is just sticky with no liner, you can take your vinyl sheet, this is what I just had my permanent vinyl on, this is what I weeded on, and you can lay it on that, and it would be able to cling there and, and stay. But I have transfer tape that actually has a backer, so then I can just put that right back on there and save it for the next time. All right, there is the sign. I think that's so cute. And again, I love that these signs are pre-done and ready to go. That way you can just get crafting as soon as you get home, really. You can get crafting as soon as you bring this home. All right, let's finish up with our final little craft. Okay, I have to do this little storage and I think, oh yeah, it'll work great on the little cup cradle as well. All right, let me take the tag off. And what I was thinking of doing, I want to make sure that the handle is this way. I want to do just a simple little verse right here. So let me grab the rubbing alcohol. Same as before, just removing any oils or dust. Get that nice and clean. And I'm focusing only on the area that where I'm going to put the vinyl. Now this was... Um, not tricky, I don't wanna say tricky at all, because it wasn't tricky, but you wanna be mindful that this has some embossed areas here with these lines. So I was mindful of what I wanted to do in terms of design, given that fact. So I just measured here, knowing that I wanted my design to kind of just nuzzle in between two of those lines, or a line and the bottom of the container. Okay. I've used this design before. I think I used it last year. It's so cute. It says, be thankful. Let me move my metal tin so that it's not stealing focus from us though. There we go. And finish up weeding this. It's just a pretty, pretty design. So again, another tiny reminder that you can reuse your SVGs and do more things with them so fun. I do it a lot, especially when you find one that you really like. I mean, I wouldn't make a tote bag and a shirt and a hat and wear it all on the same day or anything, but in theory, you could just mix it up a little bit, spread out that design. Okay, there we go. Be thankful that that was just a nice, simple little sentiment. Really could use this year long, right? And... Here we go. So let me trim this, add this to the top of our vinyl. Okay, I have my little design already here, making sure that that is just so. I want to curve it around the side. And I like that. Very cute. Okay, let's make sure I don't have any bubbles there though. There we go. And there. Okay. That worked out great. Go ahead and burnish that down. 
I like also that how that coordinates so nice with the black on the lip. That's pretty. All right, let's peel this up. And there we are. How sweet is that? I like that. Really pretty. Okay, there we are. The official kickoff crafts to fall season. I am really looking forward to beginning this season for all the fall crafts. I know you're excited as well. This is the time when we really, really have some fun. So be sure to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching, if you were inspired in one way or another. And again, if you made it to the end, leave a little leaf emoji. I would love to see who stuck it out, who was inspired, and let me know what your favorite craft is. All right, let's go ahead and continue crafting for fall in the next video. I'll see you soon.